Okay, so now we're going to look at the sign test. Now, the sign test is a statistical test where you are expected not only to be able to work out the critical value, but also the calculated value this time. Whereas in all the other stats tests, you don't usually have to calculate the calculated value that's usually given to you. So let's see what you do. So first thing is, this is the normal rule. Column B minus column A is needed to work out the difference. So column B would actually be here, condition two or condition B. And this one would be column A, which is condition A. So the first condition. So that's the usual rule. However, I am going to say, please do read the instructions carefully on the exam because they can give you additional instructions or they might change the rules. So just make sure you're looking at the exam paper if they tell you anything. If they don't, then this would be the common practice. So let's work that out. So the first thing I'm doing is taking eight away from three. So this is one participant. So this is five. And as you can tell, eight minus three is a positive value. So I put a plus sign here. So that's working out the sign as in, is it positive or negative? So then we go to the next one. So five minus three is two. And again, it's a positive value. In this case, nine minus six would be a three and it's a positive value. And then we've got two minus six this time. So that would actually be a minus four. So notice I'm putting the minus in there and the sign. 9 minus 9 is 0, so there is no sign here. This is void. Now, if this ever happens, what that means is that they are removed away from the participant number because they've been cancelled out. Their value doesn't count anymore. So I'll explain about that in a short while in a little more detail. So now we're going for 3 minus 8, so that's minus 5. And again, I'm putting the sign on this side. They'd usually give this table to you, by the way, if that is what they were expecting you to do, so you wouldn't be creating a table like this normally, it would already be there and you're just filling in the figures. Again, we have another zero, so this one doesn't count. Four minus seven is minus three. Six minus eight is minus two. Apologies, I have to go through this, but you know, and then the last one is zero, zero. So now we've done that bit. Now it says here n, if you remember n is the number of participants, you'll need that information to work out the critical value later. So number of participants is currently 10, but if you remember I said, those who get zero values like this one, they're taken out. So as you can see, there's three of them in this data set, so I'm going to have to remove those three participants. So in actual fact, we end up with 7. So n equals 7. Okay, now calculated value of S. Now this you know, a lot of people get confused. It's really not that difficult. So let's have a look at what we will have to do. So what you have to do is work out how many plus signs there are. So if I look here, I've got one, two, three. So I've got three plus signs. For the minus, let's have a look at what we've got. So the minuses, I've got one, two, three and four. Now all S's, you you know, to work out S, you look at these two values, how many positives and how many negatives. The one that was the lesser of the two is S. So as you can see, there is three positives and four negatives. So the lesser of those two is three. So S equals three. You don't add them up. You don't do anything else. You just work out which one of those two is less. Is it less positive signs in total or less negative. So S was equal to three. And now we have to work out if this is significant. And to do that, we have to go to the critical value table. So to start off with, I'm just going to take the figures that we got from the previous page. So N was seven and S was three. So that's all we've got so far. So now we've got to work out what is the critical value. And it's taken from this table. Now, the question says specifically, to be significant, now remember, this is going to be underneath every table they give you in the exam. Don't bother wasting any time memorizing this line that's underneath every stats test. You have, you know, six stats tests to learn. They're going to give you that information in the exam. There is no point learning that. So it says here, to be significant, the calculated or observed value, that's another name for calculated value sometimes, but 
must be equal to or less than the critical value table. Now, if you see in the other videos that I've posted up, I've said to you, it's best to actually write down these two values straight into um, your paper. So if I said the calculated value or S value, so I'd put the number three there because that's the one that we calculated already. And as I said, usually they'd give that to you in the exam for the other stats test. But for the science test, you are expected to be able to calculate that. And as you saw, it wasn't that difficult. So the calculated value that we worked out was three must be equal to or less than something. Now I'm going to go back to this in a minute because it says here, and this is an important point, this is the actual question. So using the S value you calculated, which you've already done, state whether the findings of the study are significant at P equals to, sorry, is less 0 0.05 or less. So on this particular one, now notice this time is slightly different from the other one that you saw earlier. Now, if you look carefully, there is a zero, you know, a point there. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger just so you can see that. They've done a cheeky thing here, which is they've put this dot here. Now, if you don't know already, if there's a decimal place there, it means it's zero in front. So let's just say for argument's sake, I'm going to put that in, but they can do that in the exam. They can disguise it. So if you don't already know, usually speaking for psychology, we always go for the row that says 0 0.05 and it does specifically state there 0 0.05 or less. So this is the row you should definitely be going for. Um, sorry, this column. OK, so we said earlier N equals seven, if you remember. So if you made the categorical error and went for 10 here, your results would be different. So that's why it's so crucial that you're staying ahead of what, you know, all the information that you've got so far. So we now know n equals 7, 0 0.05, the coordinate would lead us to a critical value, sorry, of 2. So I'm going to put this information in now, critical value of 2. So it says here, to be significant, the calculated value of 3 must be equal to, now I'm going to write in the word 2, because that's what we just found. So it's definitely not equal to two, which is fine, or less. So I'll repeat that again. So observed value of three must be less than two. Three is not less than two. Two, hold on, even I'm gonna get it right away. So three is not less than two. Now, so as 3 is not less than 2, um, it is not significant. So if it was 1, that would be great because 1 would be less than 2, but it's not. So unfortunately, because 3 is not less than 2, it's more than 2, it's not significant. So because 3 is not less than 2, it is not significant because that was required. So you would have to write again, the results are not significant. as the calculated value is not um, less than the critical value. I would write those figures down, um, so that is really quite important. I should have mentioned that in the other videos as well, to be honest, so you do need to mention those figures. So calculated value of three is not less than the critical value at a significance level. Oh. Ah level of 0 0.05. Um, do that um, sign as well, that triangular sign. sign. Uh, where is it? I don't even know where that is on there, so cheeky one. Edit, copy, da, 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 da. edit, paste. So literally copy them. Okay, so, uh, and then you would relate back to the scenario, relate back to the scenario. Oh my god. Okay, so relate back to the scenario. So in this case, there was no significance, significant difference between whether participants had music in the background, not music in the background, and recall of words or whatever the scenario was. Um, if you remember earlier on, I said that means you accept the null hypothesis because that showed there was no difference, and you reject the experimental hypothesis. And essentially, that is it. Um, so please note 
always include those figures. So I should have said here three is not less than the critical value of two. And that's it really. And right on time, we've got police coming. So, okay, you didn't get to hear it, but anyway, so that's it.